the looks just go around around like the ring around a rosy pocket full of posy all of it like literally run around <laughs> pocket full of posy what a fixie girl men on <laughs> i don't even know what palette i'm using but we're gonna use something okay so if you're looking forward to that make sure you give the video a thumbs up i need to know what you like and what you don't like you know make sure you also subscribe to my text community because it's free and you get to text me personally one to one you heard also make sure you are following me on instagram a lot goes down on ig that doesn't go down over here okay i post three times a week sundays tuesdays and thursdays hair is in my face but i still look good and when i look good i'm gonna do what i'm gonna let you know okay three times a week make sure you watch all my videos this is one of the videos that i posted this week this could be number two or three make sure you're watching the vlogs on sundays too and let's go ahead now i like i said i need to get my palette hold on All right, so I realized that for the past few days that I've been filming, I have not been using a primer. Why? Because there ain't one in my kit. Hello, that's the problem, first of all. <laughs> the kit that I use where I have the products that I'm currently using in my session, I don't have a primer in here. Whatever, okay. Right now, I'm gonna use the One Size Translucent. It's called Blur something, right? What's the name? It's not even on here. It's the mini one. It's the Blur and something. I'm going to use the Too Faced Light My Fire eyeshadow palette because it's right here, and it's got a reddish, orange is that orange <laughs> a red orange type color i was gonna do fiery like fire hydrant red am i doing orange today okay i'm doing orange today i'll do a fire engine red eyeshadow another time so i want you to comment let me know if you want to see a fire engine like fire hydrant fire hydrant engine red like a red like this all right i'm gonna use this to just like go into my t-zone i'm not oily because remember i had a little breakout so i'm not oily per se so i'm not like reaching for anything that's gonna dry me out like the sahara like we okay you see because you know i have been using a hydrate and foundation for some time today i don't want to go hydrating because i don't need to be hydrated today we're gonna just do this little basic modification but this ain't gonna this is not gonna be for you if you are extremely oily right now i'm not extremely i'm not generally extremely oily i'm like a little oily right because all my skincare stuff has balanced out my oils and besides it's not july in houston it's october for god's sake okay here we go and then i was gonna grab my zoeva foundation 430 and up for you but i don't want to be extra dewy today again i'm just going with how my skin is feeling okay we're going to use the nars soft matte in the color deep three igua mm -hmm. that one iguasu y'all gotta send me a voice note on ig how do you how do you say this because okay this is my morphe e63 brush i want to do more eyeshadow looks with the same palette now angie renee had this really does she still do it andrea i haven't seen you do it in a long time girl she used to do this really really good series where she did five looks with one eyeshadow palette. I'm not trying to do five per se, but I do want to get more uses out of one palette. Cause you know, it's one thing to show you one look and that's cool and that's cute. But unless you're buying every single palette that you see an influencer using on YouTube, you do want to be able to do a few looks. Now I don't, I'm not going to do it as a series per se, but you see how in another video I used the same light my fire palette and then I'm using it again today. So I'm going to just basically keep certain palettes in my everyday kit right here. I'm gonna link the makeup case that I use. I'm gonna keep certain palettes just in there and do a few looks with it and then just put it back and change it. So in her videos, which are really good, you need to watch them. She does one video, right? It wasn't it one video with five looks. It was like fantastic. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just use it several times, okay? So here's look number two on YouTube with this particular palette, ow.
right, all right, here we are. Time for the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna use this color right here. There are no names, but this orangey type color. But you know, I like to create a gradient, so we're gonna go with this yellow first. We're giving fall foliage today, okay? Uh, I'm gonna do the yellow and the brown. Okay, let's do that. We need to build this up, okay? <laughs> the yellow and the brown mixed together. Always tapping off the excess, isolating the brow bone, keeping my head down to make sure that I don't get fallout on my on my shirt here. Now I did already set my brow bone with the same one size translucent powder, very important because for me, if I don't do that, when I'm blending my crease color, it could start to pull on the brow bone highlight and it just, it ain't the move for me, okay? So this is looking really pretty. Usually I like a reddish brown up in here, but this yellow brown is doing something for the kid, you see? So taking these two colors, tapping off the excess, now I'm doing this side. Isolate out your crease. It's the area between the brow bone and your actual lid. Now, we talked about this in my eyeshadow tutorial, like the eyeshadow one-on-one -on -one video. Make sure you watch that. Now, this brush that I'm using is a fluffy, <laughs> it's a fluffy brush, so it's not giving me a clean crease application. That's not what I want. I don't want this to just be in one spot, like a line, almost like a cut, like a cut crease. I don't want that. I want it to be flared out like this. It just blends and looks a lot better that way. Now, taking the Sephora 59 brush with leftover product, I'm going right here on the side. Oh my God, I just realized I didn't highlight. What am I doing? I got ahead of myself. I need to do my highlight. What in tarnation? Oh my God, let me do that. Talking about the Rare Beauty Luminizer. What is going on? I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is the Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Floor. I like to put this on the back of my hands and spread it out like so. I'm just like spreading it out like so. And then I'm going to take the butt of my sponge. It's a little bit damp, but really not really not damp at this point. It's cold, right? So that's how damp it is, it just feels cold. Okay, wiping off excess to clean this part up right here, going down the middle of my nose. It's weird doing it at this point in the game because normally I would have been done this already. I'm annoyed. That happens sometimes. I have a routine and steps that I use to do this and when I do something out of the no routine, it just throws me all the way off. So I need to do my eyeshadow again right here because I, I don't usually do this after I apply my eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm gonna apply the lid color and then we're gonna go in to find the crease. I wanna do the lid color first because of the color that I'm using. I just wanna get this right, okay? So, dang, now that I look at this, this is looking real close to here are the swatches of the two of these colors. Ooh, they look beautiful together, girl. Even together, these two look beautiful. What if I do, let me do this on the lid, like I said. I'll just end up blending the two of them, you'll see. These are really beautiful colors, okay. And you saw that I have my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner already ready in my container to clean my brushes as I go along because these colors are just so bright and vibrant. Taking some of this reddish brown color, looking down. Let me look over here. And applying this, oh, this is giving me fall vibes. Now going easy as I do the windshield wiper motions because leftover product can fly from side to side. And the last thing I want is this reddish orange color all over my face, you know? Always tapping off the excess. Do short strokes as you're wiping it side to side because you wanna build the color onto the area that you're on. You don't want any patches, basically. And those patches tend to happen with light colors like this. Ooh, it's looking good already, baby. Where would you wear this look to? Comment and let me know. This is looking so good. I should do my orange lip with this. Like the light orange, it was like saucy or pumpkin something from Fenty with the gloss. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, this is looking so good. Ugh. Okay, let me do the other eye.
Okay, so I brought the colors down to my bottom lash line or yeah, bottom eye, whatever. And now I'm using an eyeshadow to create my eyeliner on top, which is what I do 9.5 out of 10 times when I do my makeup. I'm taking a dark purple this time though. I could use black, but I just feel like doing something different. This is from that Maven palette that I usually use. It's just easy. It has certain colors in here that I need. You, can you see this? You can see it. It doesn't look like black. It just looks maybe like a gray. I don't know, but you know, I'm gonna do my lashes. That's a must. Linking all these products below in the description box. So make sure you take a look at that. Tell me if when you do your eye makeup, you are bringing your colors down to the bottom. <laughs> that is such a must for me. It makes a huge difference. Are you doing that or are you just leaving it on top and then leaving the bottom? I used to do that 10 years ago, you know, not now. It just makes such a difference. It ties the look in so well when you bring your colors down to the bottom, especially on a smoky eye, especially girl. All right, so I lined the bottom waterline with this Revlon So Fierce Eyeliner. I love this because it has a shine to it. You know, there are some eyeliners that look like my top water line, my top eyeliner, which is a powder. I know that, but there's some eyeliners that will go on and look matte. That might be a look for you, but I love when the eyeliner looks satin. Do you see that? It's just a little subtle difference. I like that a lot. So with the eyeliner under my eye, I then like, it's in my waterline and kind of on my skin. I then like to take a flat liner brush like this one and then smudge it a little bit to give it a little bit of drama. You can smudge it more to really smoke out the bottom lash. It depends on what look you're going for. But I like this little smudge right here. What do you think? This is a MAC 212 brush that I have had for maybe 10 years now. Okay, okay, we are almost done with the eye. My lash glue is like getting tacky. I'm gonna use this color right here. It's like a tangerine. I don't know. It's a tangerine looking type color. Let's see, right here in the tear ducts. Oh yeah, baby. I always like to highlight the inner eye. Where you at? You can always wet your brush to make it more pigmented to make it stand out, but this is cool. It's matching my face highlight. Okay, I'm okay with that. I would have liked to go with something yellow, a yellow gold, but this is okay. This is okay. It's subtle, you see? It's subtle. Sometimes I be really doing a lot right here i just do whatever i want to do you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be what i want to be oh girl and then you know my tried and true mascara these days for under my lash line is lawless the one and done mascara yo i'm trying to tell you something i don't know what they have up in here but it works so well going on top tw twirling it or turning it underneath on top underneath and also left to right to really coat those eyelashes like look look at that just fantastic Baby, baby, take a look and tell me what you're thinking about this eyeshadow in the comment section. And I have done this before, haven't I? <laughs> Yeah, I've done this before, but that's okay though. That's okay though, we doing it again. Hello, hi, look it. Yo, I'm so annoyed. I have another one of these Fenty Matte Mazelle, the orange ones. They're saucy, there's Freckle Fiesta. Freckle Fiesta is like an auburn, burnt orange type color. Saucy is orange, Ancasa, which I don't want to clash with my eye. And then, oh, I gotta sharpen this. And then there's another one. Is it Pumpkin Rose? Pumpkin something, I can't find it. So I'm gonna mix two different Fenty lippies together to achieve the look I'm going for we're gonna see this is the i had to sharpen it oh this is scott barnes that's not what i wanted who's one i no wonder i'm like wait why do i have to sharpen this i just bought this why does it already need to be sharpened okay well this one does need to be sharpened <laughs> this is charlotte tilbury hello talk three intense it does actually need to be sharpened so here we go this is so creamy, cream, Ancasa, cream. It is so good, like wowzers. You know, I normally do a lip stain, but you know, I gotta switch things out. Use the same old, same old, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's that, looking real good, real good, real good. All right, I'm gonna start off with Saucy, but I'm not gonna stay there, cause I don't want, see? <sighs> okay, we gonna make it work, we gonna make it work. This is not, it's giving trick or treat, like what? <laughs> What we doing right now? I can't. Okay, this is up to no good. Oh, I don't know if she's gonna get me where I need to go. Oh, dear God. Okay, hold on, hold on. A little bit. Okay, a little bit. This is still not what I wanted. <laughs> I am so annoyed. Trick or treat. <laughs> what is happening? Uh uh. Oh, uh, what is going on here? Okay, so like the lip is definitely giving creamsicle. And that was not my intention. I don't know what's going on. Uh uh. What do you.
What do you think? <laughs> Is the lip gloss gonna take it down? Okay, let me apply more of the saucy. No, nope, up to no good, okay? That's the like peach color. Let me do more up to no good. Mm-hmm. The skin above my lip is peeling. I can't do it. Mm-mm. So it's showing through the foundation since I used NARS Soft Matte. All the more reason why if you have dry skin evidenced by dry patches, dry skin flakes, don't use a matte foundation like NARS Soft Matte. It's, it's just gonna be showing. And I didn't realize I had the dryness above my lip. So mm -hmm, here I am, a casualty of war. Look, we're gonna put this gloss on top. I think this gloss tones things down because I've worn this a few times and I felt like it toned things down sound a little what do you think <laughs> it, it did a little oh dear god that dryness above my lip is just not the move right now it the lip the lip combo is working a little i'm just throwing off because it wasn't what i intended to do i mean it's orange and orange i'm trying to convince myself <laughs> All right, I have to clean off the inside of the lip with the tissue. That's a must with glosses. I mean, we gonna make this work. I'm not wiping off my lip. That's one thing I do not like to do. The, uh oh, I just made a line on my face with my nail. I can't do it. That's why you don't be catching me doing these lip wash videos. They're annoying. Taking off your lip and doing it over again is just too much. Cause you gotta fix the foundation and stuff. So it's just too much. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are with the finished look. What you think about it? What you know about me? Comment and let me know. What you think? about this lick what you feeling about the whole combination we went in a different direction remember lime crime had this yellow lipstick back 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 in the day everybody bought it the way i mixed the lips is giving me lime crime a little bit it wasn't orange obvi but it's just making me think of a yellow lipstick anyway i want you to i think it looks cute i'm looking at it it looks cute it wasn't intentional it was a casualty but like she came together so comment and let me know if you like the look okay if you plan on trying it out would you do a different lip you know if so what lip would you do do you like all of it look at my nails i'm giving you claws again baby i love it i am so glad that you are here watching my videos you understand what i'm saying watch some more because i have a lot of bangers you feel what i'm saying again three times a week i'm posting watch all three videos thumbs up all the videos Follow me on Instagram, subscribe here, comment and holla at your boo. Links are always in the description boxes of all of my videos. Links to what I'm using, wearing, that sort of a thing. Make sure you look at that. And I look good. And when I look good, what do I do? I always gotta tell you, okay? All right, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.